Run games are in the spotlight in the second round of the WIA Division II football playoffs Friday night on the WisconsinPrepZone.com game of the week. DeForest at Beaver Dam, Briar Harper for DeForest, RJ Shelton for Beaver Dam. These are two of the best in our area, and we'll see who leads their team to the third round of the playoffs. Let's go to the highlights. A slow start for both teams, but DeForest gets the first break when Shelton, already dinged up, fumbles, and the Norskis recover with great field position. It doesn't take long for Harper to make it count, as he cuts his way left and in from 26 yards out to put DeForest up 7-0. With Shelton ineffective because of a sprained ankle, the Golden Beavers look to the air, but DeForest's Zach Franz takes down quarterback Jake Heyer on third down. When the Norskis get the ball back, they go to the air, with QB Kyler Gillett scrambling out of the pocket and finding Brett Minnick for a first down. A couple plays later, it's Harper again, this time from six yards out, and it's 13-0 after the PAT hits the upright. Another third down for the Beavers and another defensive play by Franz. He powers his way into higher for the sack. We practice every week, you know, we work hard, try to get the offense out there as much as possible, and we just make stops, whatever it takes to win the game. Norski's ball early in the second quarter, and Harper takes it again and goes 40 yards to the house for a 20-0 lead. He's a good back. He's a tough kid. You know, he's going to run hard. And uh, obviously his legs give him a little. He's got that speed. and uh, uh, But he's, you know, he's one of the pieces of all of the kids out there that have to be, you know, part of our group that have to perform. The DeForest run defense has an answer for everything Beaver Dam tries. Jordan Blyde cuts down Shelton here. And here's the play of the game, and no surprise, it's from Harper. He looks like he's going down a few times, but he keeps the legs moving and breaks tackles for a 43-yard touchdown. At first, I dove in the pile, and I don't know what happened. I spun out and then hit somebody, and then my legs felt like they were weak, and then I just kept going. It's good. The force isn't done in the first half. Harper gets the handoff, but it's a reverse to Minnick, who takes it six yards for the score. The extra point is a fake, and the Norskis make it a 35-point lead with the Gillette to Brandon Staffile conversion. First play from scrimmage is when RJ sprained his ankle, and it kind of went downhill from there. We just lost any energy that we had offensively when that happened. Kind of like shocked by the whole the whole situation. Beaver Dam finally gives its fans something to cheer about in the second half. After not getting a first down in the first two quarters, the Beavers get their first on a penalty, then Zach Drager moves the chains rushing. But DeForest's defense is too strong. Drager hands off to Nick Schmidt on the reverse, but DeForest Jacob Miller gets him by the shoelaces to end the drive. The running clock makes it a quick second half, and DeForest comes away with a 35-0 victory, outgaining Beaver Dam 286 yards of 38. Next up for the Norskis is Wanakee in the third round. Any team at this, at this time of the year is a good team, so... Uh, I guess I'll credit our kids for really coming out and playing great football. These kids battled. I mean, I'm really proud of these seniors. Um, you know, to have to have that kind of momentum coming into this game uh, was uh, a, the result of the actions of many. And our senior class has a lot to be proud of this year with our final record of eight and three. Our defense, when they do, when they stop them really close to the end zone, that's, we automatically know we're going to score. So it helps when they do really good. 